Independence Day for South Sudan is just months away and noticeable signs of this change to come are slowly beginning to be seen. The Sudan Armed Forces, or SAF, and a joint integrated unit, the JIU, and some of its members have begun leaving Juba for the north. The special unit has an equal number of troops from both the north and the south and was established as a security protocol of the comprehensive peace agreement between Khartoum and the Sudan People's Liberation Army, SPLA. The 2005 CPA stipulates that JIU would serve as a national army if the South had voted for a united Sudan in the January referendum. But with the South's cessation, JIU troops have started to return to their respective armies. Vice Chairman of the Joint Defense Committee and SPLA Commanding Officer Lieutenant General James Hothmai commends the combined forces for their work of the past six years. I would like to appreciate our brothers who are going to the north for their great work. We are proud of their work of keeping peace. We have nothing to give them, but we will say thank you for the work you have done. In recent weeks, members of the Sudan Armed Forces assembled in Juba from central, eastern and western equatorial states. The departure of the 1st Division from Juba marks the last SAF troops heading to the north. JIU SPLA units from Khartoum have also left for the south. High-ranking officials attended the farewell event for the 1st Division at Juba River Port. The Northern Army had some 12,000 troops in the south, but most of the JIU there were made up of uh, Southern Sudanese who had served with the Northern Army.